everyone, I'm Carrie Doherty. You know, the internet would probably implode without a steady supply of cute dog videos. And lucky for you, you're about to watch one. Except this one also has science. We here at Mashable have harnessed the power of state-of-the-art labs and dog spit to find out the exact genetic makeup of one dog. And to do that today, we have help from our veterinarian and resident dog expert, Dr. Halligan, how are you? I'm great. And also with us today is Polly and her dog, Cleo. Welcome, Polly. Welcome, Cleo. How are you? Good, thank you. So six to eight weeks ago, we sent Cleo's saliva off to a lab to get it tested so that we can tell you what her doggy ancestry is. Are you very excited to find I out? I cannot wait. I've been waiting for years. <laughs> well, we have the results in an envelope under that little rug, which I'm gonna dramatically pull out now. <gasps> Before we get to these results, how old is Cleo? Cleo is five and change. She'll be six in November. Five and change, you look great. You're still a pup. And where did you get Cleo from? We found her through Pet Finder uh, with this rescue organization called Dogs Without Borders. She was a puppy, she was nine weeks old. I dragged my husband to the adoption site and he thought we were not getting a dog until she ran right up to him and just stole his heart in seconds and the rest is history. Wow. When we reconnected with the woman who fostered her a little later, she asked if she was still naughty and I think that kind of sums it up right there. She's Whoa. always had a bit of a rebellious, cunning streak if that makes wow. sense. Wow, what is the most like rebellious, cunning thing she's ever done? Well, I think uh, yesterday she topped herself when she figured out how to jump up onto the dining room table and eat our food. So, Whoa. if there's any uh, if there's any food around, she'll find a way to get to it. Um, she doesn't like the sound of wheels, which is quite inconvenient. So she barks quite a lot. I would say she's okay. maybe a little anxious. But then, from the hours of 9 p.m. to 6.30 in the morning, she's just a, a snuggle queen Aww. and, uh, you know, turns into a different animal. What kind of dog do you think Cleo is? I think she's a Brug, which is a registered uh, <laughs> mix. It's a half Brussels Griffon, half Pug. Wow, a Brug. Right. Now, Are see, you getting a Brug? Well, I'm getting, just listening to you talk about her, um, for sure Pug. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking maybe some Yorkshire Terrier mm -hmm. in there because of the barking and wanting to eat and, and her personality. Did you guys see her tail? Yeah, like, let's show off your just butt. show the tail. Oh, wow. I mean, that what kind of is, tail that's is that? a pug tail. That's a that's pug a tail. Pug tail. It's pug like tail. a little, oh. yeah, yeah. We asked you, the Mashable audience, to weigh in with what kind of dog you think Cleo might be, and you guys said 84% of you voted mostly pug, 8% of you voted mostly Yorkshire Terrier, uh -huh. 8% voted mostly Jack Russell Terrier. No one said Ewok? Yeah. Nobody said Ewok, <laughs> not on this one. But nope. guesses are just guesses, so it is time to find out the real answer as to what's inside this envelope when we guess Polly. What's, what's your mutt? Polly, are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah. Cleo, Cleo, I need you to, are you ready to find out who you are in here? You ready? Let's get to the results. <laughs> Cleo, don't run away yet. <laughs> get up here. Cleo, don't run from the truth. All right. Cleo is mostly pug. Ah, yeah, we, knew right. it. we knew it, we knew it. Cleo it is 85% pug and 15% Yorkshire Terrier. Yes. What? That's the naughty as a puppy. Yes, I'm that impressed. explains her little bit. I'm impressed, Doc. Yeah. You're very, very, you're really good at this game. Thank you. I, well, you I know, guess it's not a game, it's 28 life. years, you know, <laughs> I should get something right. <laughs> so Cleo's family tree shows that her parents were a pug mix and then another pug mix. That's insane. Mm -hmm. And on both sides, her grandparents were one purebred pug that did the nasty with a pug slash Yorkie Terrier oh. mix. So Cleo is mostly pug, which the Mashable audience guessed, so you guys got that right. Congratulations, give yourselves a pat on the back. Cleo's test results also show us that her genetic age in human years is 43. Yeah. So that's about right. So Embark, the place where we had these tests done, also tested Cleo for wolfiness. Cleo scored 
0.6% on the wolfiness scale, which is considered low. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that adds up, right? She's very vanilla. Yes. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next week so you can catch another episode of What's Your Must?